Frank is on his way somewhere. He speaks to a device he calls Coach and asks where he is going. The device tells him to go to the hub. He gets there and waits for someone. Amy is in the hub. She asks the coach how she will know who she is meeting and the device shows her Frank. They see and greet each other. Frank tells her he is nervous because it's his first time using the system. Amy reveals it's also her first time. As they talk about what to order, the waiter delivers their food. They check the expiration of their relationship through their device and it reveals they have 12 hours. They both think it's too short and the clock starts ticking, so Frank tells Amy they must eat quickly. They are both picked up by a car and driven somewhere together. They arrive in front of a house. They enter and they are still shy around each other. Amy goes into the bathroom and asks the system what they must do. Frank does the same. The system tells them it is up to them whether or not they want to have sex. Amy and Frank are lying in bed talking about the system. Amy's hand moves closer to Frank's and they hold hands. The next day, they say goodbye and tell each other they had a great time. They let go of each other's hands and go into separate cars. Frank says he thinks Amy is the perfect match but the system tells him that his ultimate compatible partner has not been selected yet and it explains that the system gains insight as each participant progresses through numerous relationships to eventually select an ultimate compatible partner. Amy and Frank both get into a new relationship match. Amy meets Lenny, and Frank meets Nicola. Nicola is already eating because Frank is late. She rushes to check their expiration date. It shows they will be together for a year. Nicola seems frustrated and asks the system if there's a mistake, but it tells them there's no mistake. Amy and Lenny also check their expiration date and the system reveals they will be together for nine months. They get to a house after their dinner. To break the ice, Lenny suggests having sex right away to help determine their compatibility and Amy agrees. Frank and Nicola are having sex, and Nicola is unhappy with Frank in bed. They are frustrated with each other. Frank talks to the system and it tells him that he can't just walk away from Nicola. Frank and Nicola attend an event. Frank looks around and sees Amy enjoying herself with Lenny. Later that day, Amy approaches Frank. She sees the girl who just left and asks Frank if she's her new match and he says yes. Lenny approaches Amy and Frank as they are happily talking. Amy introduces them to each other. They're back at the house, Amy wants to know if she can feel what she felt when she held Frank's hand so she holds Lenny's hand. As Lenny is going down on Amy, he sighs loudly, turning Amy off. She tells it to him and he tells her he will try not to do it again if it bothers her. Their relationship eventually ends and Amy gets another relationship match right away. They meet and check their expiration date. It ends and gets another one with a 36 hours expiration date. Frank and Nicola's relationship also ends. Frank is waiting for his new match. Amy shows up and they're both happy to know that they will be in a relationship again. Amy asks Frank if it's okay not to check their expiration date because she's sick of it and he agrees. Inside a house, they joke around and they finally have sex. The next day, they talk about how the matching system works. Frank gets really curious about how long he still has left with Amy. That night, he breaks his agreement with Amy and asks the coach about how much time he has with Amy. The device shows a button to reveal the expiration date, Frank taps it and it reveals five years. He smiles but suddenly, the device recalibrates the date down to three years. The device repeatedly recalibrates and Frank starts to panic. The device tells him one-sided observation destabilized their expiration date. The recalibrated expiration date is now just 20 hours. The next morning, Amy and Frank go out. Amy asks him what's going on. Frank confesses he looked at the expiration date. 
Amy gets upset and asks Frank why he looked at it. Frank tells her it's because he really likes her. After arguing, Amy leaves and a guard shows up with a taser. Frank is upset with himself and with the system. Amy gets into numerous cycles of matches but is unhappy with them. Frank also gets into one but all he can think about is Amy. The device tells Amy her ultimate partner has been selected and the pairing day is tomorrow. It also tells her that she will have a chance to bid farewell to a person she chooses. She immediately chooses Frank and throws the device into the swimming pool. Amy and Frank meet again. They confess they want each other and they decide to run away together. Guards try to stop them but for some reason, everyone around them stops moving. They climb the high ladder in an attempt to leave the system. As they go up, everything turns into a dimension, revealing 998 rebellions out of 1,000 simulations tested, resulting in 99.8% match. Everything that happened was the matching algorithm in a dating app. In the real world, the real Amy and Frank finally meet. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a new release. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.